Chapter 2071, The Hearts of Humans Are Unpredictable, Soul Slayer did not care one bit about what the previous spirit master had done. It was feeling a little impatient as it looked at Wuju, seemingly urging him about something. Wuju nodded his head slightly at Soul Slayer, seemingly in reassurance. The entire place outside the serene spirit tower erupted with incessant waves of debate. Some lamented on the previous spirit master's fall into depravity, some accused the previous spirit master of vile malice, and some others just waited to watch the great show that was about to commence. Humans were the most complicated creatures under the heavens. When they are born, they are all ignorant and innocent babies. But divergent experiences and varying environments with different people around them makes them feel different emotions, gradually changing their mindsets and hearts, to have them slowly grow up to become people who are completely disparate. The human heart is highly prone to changes, and the talk in the world outside will easily change a person's heart and mind. The previous spirit master did not harbor any hatred towards the admonishments directed upon him, and he did not complain, but merely looked slightly desolate and helpless against it. As a human, he knew the ugliness of the human heart more clearly than anyone. He did not blame the fickleness of those people, but only blamed the complexity and ugliness that pervaded the world. That's enough. Suddenly, a rage-filled roar sounded out from behind the mass of human spirits. All spirits turned towards the source of that voice in an instant, to see Nalan Shan come walking out on his own from among the spirits, the eyes upon that gently handsome countenance, showing rage they had never shown before. Wu Ju straightened himself in his seat, an elbow supported on his knee. His body leaned forward slightly, as he looked at Nalan Shan who had come as expected. Junior Nalan. You're here at last. Nalan Shan's furious eyes swept over Wuju, refusing to acknowledge him. His gaze then fell upon the previous spirit master, the eyes filling up with pain and agony. He went walking quickly to go before the previous spirit master, and suddenly fell on both knees to the ground, to count out three times before the previous spirit master his head knocking on the ground loudly. The sounds were so loud that it made the previous spirit master open his eyes suddenly. Your disciple Nalan Shan has caused master to suffer such great humiliation. Your disciple has been incompetent and I beg for master to punish me. Nalan Shan knelt before the previous spirit master, his heart filled with remorse and self-reproach. The previous spirit master had been calm throughout but upon seeing Nalan Shan with his eyes brimming with tears in self-reproach, the previous spirit master's eyes grew red-rimmed as well. Similarly a disciple of his, Nalan Shan's personality was simple and honest, one who disliked conflicts, his temperament most gentle. Compared to the intelligent and astute Wuju of the past, Nalan Shan had seemed so unremarkable as their master. The previous spirit master had been more satisfied with Wuju, a disciple who possessed remarkable gift, with a great gift of the gab. He had liked Nalan Shan as well, but not in the same way he saw Wuju. Back when the previous spirit master had given up on his position, and had to pass down his position of the spirit master, he had hesitated then, whether he should pass down the position to Wuju with surpassing intelligence, or the gentle and kindly Nalan Shan. In the end, Considering that the responsibility of being the spirit master was very heavy, and Nalan Shan's character was too gentle where he would not be resolute enough, he had then handed the position over to Wuju. Never had he thought that the decision he made back then would turn out so laughable today. The disciple that he had been satisfied with had imprisoned him in the dungeon and Nalan Shan whom he had felt to be lacking had still showed up despite knowing full well that it was trap in order to save him. Upon seeing him. Nalan Shan had not complained a single word, but was instead filled with self-reproach. Such kinship, such filial piety, caused the previous spirit master's heart to wince with pain, hating that fact that he was not able to turn back time and reset it all. He would definitely not choose to nurture a tiger to bring upon calamity, and cause the truly loyal Nalan Shan to suffer such aggrievement. Get up, get up quickly. Master is the one who let you down and brought harm onto you. The previous spirit master said, his voice trembling, Chapter 2072, The hearts of humans are unpredictable, too. Nalan Shan persisted in kneeling on the ground and even when the previous spirit master stretched a hand out to help him up, 
he did not move in the slightest. That scene just further saddened the previous spirit master and he felt even more remorseful. It's all your master's fault. Your master has failed as a teacher, having possessed power for so many years but was not able to judge a person clearly to have taken a vicious tiger for a trusted kin. Your master has caused you to suffer much grief. You should not have come, shouldn't have come the previous spirit master's voice trembled, not from fear, but self-admonishment. He hated himself for his incompetence, hated that his eyes had not been able to see, that had not only thrown himself into a hopeless quandary, but had also dragged Nalan Shan down. Nalan Shan shook his head, being able to acknowledge you as my master has been Nalan Shan's greatest pride. I have no regrets. The master and disciple had their hands held together as they looked into each other's teary eyes, a moving and tragic sight. Among the surrounding human spirits who were watching, quite a number of them were feeling sorrowful from that. They hadn't really believed that the previous spirit master would sow something so traitorous as selling out the spirit world and they were feeling it was even more impossible now. The bond between the master and his disciple is truly deep and I cannot help but be moved watching both of you. But, have the two of you finished with what you wanted to say? Wu Ju had watched them for a while, before he finally opened his mouth to interrupt the conversation between Nalan Shan and the previous spirit master. Nalan Shan's brows bristled as he turned coldly to sweep a chilling gaze over the figure of Wu Ju his eyes filled to the brim with hatred. Wu Ju, you betrayed your master and ruined the name of our ancestors, to have committed a deed that go against all morals. You are not human. Wu Ju laughed and said, not human? Ha ha. I am not human at that. I am a human spirit. Could it be that you and our master are humans? Nalan Shan was not skilled with words and could not compare to Wu Ju's sharp and incisive mouth, unable to do anything but to glare hatefully at Wu Ju. Don't look at me like that. I have not harmed master in the slightest and since you've come here today as agreed, I will naturally release our old master. I'll even get someone to escort him back into the mountains properly, to allow him to continue with his seclusion. Nalan Shan, you do not need to hate me so much. I am doing all this just because of you. If you had not persisted in harboring the fugitive, I wouldn't have needed to employ such a method that made our old master go through such suffering. At the end of it all, Nalan Shan, this is all your fault. Wu Ju said venomously. His eyes narrowed as he stared at Nalan Shan, his gaze so sinister like it had been soaked in poison. Nalan Shan was so furious his entire body was shaking. But led by Wu Ju's words, and the fact he had felt that he had dragged the previous spirit master into this, Nalan Shan felt so remorseful upon hearing Wu Ju's words that he was unable to say anything at that moment. The previous spirit master saw that Nalan Shan was being manipulated and he drew in a deep breath as he held Nalan Shan's hand to say, this matter isn't your fault. With everything that you have done, you have your master's support. The one that is wrong is Wu Ju. If he did not harbor evil intentions in his heart, how could he possibly be able to do something so utterly heartless and devoid of morals? Wu Ju then said with a laugh, Master is being so biased. It is clear that you were implicated into all of this because of my junior fellow disciple. How could you blame me? But it's all right. Since my junior has come, Master, you're free now and you can go back into the mountains and continue with your life as a recluse. Wouldn't that be better? In these affairs of the spirit world, you had better not interfere as you had committed such an embarrassing deed in the past. The previous spirit master was so infuriated by Wu Ju his face turned green. Nalan Shan could endure Wu Ju's slander upon himself but he could not tolerate the humiliation he was putting the previous spirit master under. Wu Ju, no such deed have been committed at all so why are you heaping such baseless accusations upon master's head? You wanted me to come? And so here I am. This matter has nothing to do with Master and if you continue to falsely accuse Master, I will immediately extinguish my own spirit body right here. Then no matter how resourceful you are, I will then like to see what you will be able to come up with. Nalan Shan threatened to kill himself, and Wu Ju's face immediately changed. Chapter 2073, The Hearts of Humans Are Unpredictable. 3. Wu Ju took a deep breath and the expression on his face turned to look a little hard pressed. But very quickly, 
he regained back the smile from before. No need for that. I was only joking with you. I am naturally just as respectful of master as you, men. Escort master back to get some rest. Jiang Yunlong immediately arranged for people to bring the previous spirit master away. The previous spirit master was unwilling to leave, as he could not leave Nalan Shan here alone. A lone wolf in this place. Master, I will be fine. You go back first. Nalan Shan said earnestly as he held the previous spirit master's hand. The spirit master was still unwilling but he was dragged away by several human spirits. Although he possessed a great set of powers, but as Wu Ju had restrained him with soul binding chains, he was unable to summon up any of it. Nalan Shan watched longingly as the previous spirit master was dragged away but he heaved a sigh of relief in his heart as with the previous spirit master brought away from the place. He would be safe. Wu Ju would not dare to lay a hand on the previous spirit master before everyone here. Nalan Shan stood up and stared at Wu Ju, who was all smiles, a subtle change coming over his entire person and demeanor. My good junior, you have really come forward by yourself as I have expected. I really do not know whether I should say that you're too honest or just dumb. Do you think that by coming here yourself, you will be able to ensure that that beast will be safe, as long as you are here? It will come here sooner or later. Wu Ju looked at Nalan Shan with a smile. He had never thought much about Nalan Shan's gentle and passive disposition. He waved his hand and Jiang Yun Long immediately stepped forward, a set of soul binding chains in his hands. No matter how powerful the spirit's power of the spirit was, once they were shackled by these soul binding chains, they would not be able to free themselves, where the power of the spirit would be sealed up, impossible to summon. The previous spirit master had been caught off guard when Wu Ju had clamped those soul binding chains on his wrists and affected by the soul binding chains, he had naturally not been Wu Ju's match where he was then captured. Nalan Shan calmly looked at Jiang Yun Long as he walked to come before him. The corners of Jiang Yun Long's mouth were tinged with a venomous smile. Back when Nalan Shan had managed to escape before, he had felt highly indignant. Now that Nalan Shan had fallen into his hands once again, he was naturally overcome with glee. Uncle Master, do you want me to put these soul binding chains on you or do you want to do it yourself? Jiang Yun Long asked as he shook the soul binding chains gleefully, looking every inch like a vile scoundrel who managed to get his way. Nalan Shan laughed out loud scornfully, and then turned to look at Wu Ju. Wu Ju, the reason you want to capture me is merely for you to catch the spiritual bear. Do you really think that your ploy will succeed? Nalan Shan's words immediately caused the surrounding beast spirits who were watching to quake in shock, their incredulous eyes suddenly turning to fall upon the figure of Wu Ju. Wu Ju had already guessed that Nalan Shan would say that. Unflustered, he went on to say nonchalantly, Nalan Shan, your way of seeking to drive a wedge between me and the beast spirits isn't all that new at all. I'm sure the appearance of the brown bear I am seeking to capture has been clearly seen by the beast spirits outside the spiritual spirit loft back then. In order to protect it, you are insisting that it is the spiritual bear. Are you thinking that the beast spirits are all idiots? Which spiritual bear would be so barbaric looking with such a wretched coat of brown fur? where it was not even capable of human speech and did not possess unmatched powers. The astounded beast spirits then quietened down a bit. The incident back at the spiritual soul loft had been witnessed by fellow spirits of their race and they had confirmed that Wu Ju's target was a brown bear that did not possess much power. Nalan Shan then laughed disdainfully and said, Are you certain that that is not the spiritual bear? Wu Ju then said highly confidently, It's naturally not. The spiritual bear is the spiritual leader of the beast spirits and commands an equivalent standing with that of flame dragon. Could I possibly be so ignorant? Moreover, such an absolutely maniacal thing like capturing the spiritual bear is something I will never do. The beast spirits are my friends and how could I possibly do something that will let my friends down? Chapter 2074, Face Slapping of the Ecstatic Rapture Palm, 1. Nalan Shan then stared with his eyes fixed unwaveringly at Wu Ju. Remember what you just said? I remember it very clearly. Wu Ju said with a light laugh and then gave Jiang Yun Long a signal with his eyes. Without caring whether Nalan Shan was willing or not, Jiang Yun Long then clamped the soul binding chains upon Nalan Shan's wrists. Uncle Master Nalan, shall we? 
Jiang Yunlong said gleefully as he gave Nalan Shan a push. Nalan Shan glanced at him but did not shift his feet a single step. Jiang Yunlong seemed to become a little impatient, cursing inwardly that Nalan Shan was just struggling in vain before everyone. He had already fallen into his master's hands and he was still acting all high and mighty here. Wait till they put him in the dungeons and he will need to be taught a good lesson to vent out all this frustration. Hurry up and not waste everyone's time. Jiang Yunlong stretched his hand out in impatience, pushing Nalan Shan roughly on the shoulder. Suddenly, a heaven-shaking roar of a bear shot up into the sky. Several huge figures came shooting out from among the masses of spirits, to charge straight towards where Nalan Shan was standing. Jiang Yunlong's heart quivered, quickly pulling himself away from Nalan Shan. Roar! The massive brown bear stood blocking right in front of Nalan Shan, to face the hastily retreating Jiang Yunlong and to let out a furious and rage-filled roar. Beside Nalan Shan, with the brown bear leading them, were four other beast spirits circling around Nalan Shan. They were all in a defensive stance, and it was clear that they wanted to ensure Nalan Shan's safety. In the instant that Wu Ju saw the brown bear, he immediately shot to his feet from the chair. Great delight brewed in his eyes and his hands were trembling with ecstatic excitement as he stared at the roaring brown bear where he then laughed out loud hysterically all of a sudden. Ha ha ha. Nalan Shan, Nalan Shan. See how stupid you are. You thought you could protect the beast but had not thought that the beast would care so much for you that it could not even wait a single moment before running all the way here to come save you. This is so funny it's killing me. Wu Ju was really laughing uninhibitedly without restraint. He had thought to capture Nalan Shan in order for him to force the spiritual bear out and that it would be at least a few days before that would happen. Never had he thought that when Nalan Shan had barely just stepped in here today, that spiritual bear would immediately come deliver itself straight to his door. How could Wu Ju not be delighted by that? Nalan Shan looked at Brownie and the several beast spirits who had suddenly appeared his eyes not showing the slightest bit of surprise, looking like he already knew that this would be the result all along. Looking at Brownie who was roaring incessantly, Nalan Shan raised his hands that were restrained by the soul-binding chains and rubbed Brownie on its head as he said gently, it's alright, don't go hurting your throat. Brownie then calmed down under Nalan Shan's touch. It turned its head and looked obediently at Nalan Shan, immediately stopping its roaring. Wu Ju laughed scornfully and his gaze turned to sweep over the surprised beast spirits all around. My beast spirit friends, look clearly here. Is this brown bear here your spiritual bear? Coming to know that brownie that was standing beside Nalan Shan was the target that Wu Ju was seeking to capture, all the beast spirits turned their heads to gaze upon the bear like they were going to stare holes right through Brownie's body. The brown fur did not possess the golden luster of the spiritual bear, and though massive, it did not exude any powerful aura from its power of the spirit. The mass of beast spirits shook their heads inwardly. This was not their spiritual bear. Their spiritual bear was not so weak. The reactions of the beast spirits fell into the eyes of Wuju, and Wuju's eyes then showed a gleeful glint. He had dared to have so many spirits gather here today because he was certain that the spiritual bear whose power of the spirit had been mostly absorbed by the serene spirit tower would not be able to show up in a state that exemplified the spiritual bear, and that the current state of the spiritual bear would look to be just an unremarkable brown bear beast spirit in everyone's eyes. Chapter 2075, Face Slapping of the Ecstatic Rapture Palm Ha! Huh. Nalan snorted in derision. Wu Ju instead saw it as a struggle while in the throes of death. He would be happy to see Nalan Shan's crushing defeat, where he would even watch in admiration as a type of enjoyment for him. Nalan Shan, you are really such a good fellow junior of mine, so much so that you are able to satisfy my needs so very quickly. Since this brown bear has already delivered itself up to my door. You are still my good little fellow junior. Wait till I capture that brown bear, and I will set you free, without needing you to come play guest at my place anymore. Wu Ju said with his chin lifted, and a bunch of his disciples immediately surged forward, to surround Brownie and the other beast spirits within a circle six men thick facing both inwards and outwards. Brownie let out a roar of rage and the cheetah bared its fangs ready to jump into battle any time. Nalan Shan continued to stare at Wu Ju who was looking beside himself with glee. Wu Ju, 
you shall pay for everything that you've done today, oh, I would really like to see how you are going to make me pay, arrest that bear right now. Wu Ju shouted out coldly, Jiang Yunlong and a bunch of human spirits jumped straight towards Brownie and the others, but in the next instant, several massive vines shot out from behind them that sent the human spirits surrounding Brownie and the four beast spirits flying away in a blink, Wu Ju was startled as he quickly turned to look at the source of those vines, Poison Ivy slowly walked into Wu Ju's line of sight, the dancing vines around his body clearly showing who was responsible for the strike that had just happened, it was him, Poison Ivy. Wu Ju's eyes narrowed as he stared at Poison Ivy who had charged into the fray so suddenly, and his eyes took on a vicious tinge. He had heard from Jiang Yunlong before that Poison Ivy was involved in this matter and if not for the fact that he did not want to antagonize the plant spirits at this critical juncture, Wu Ju would have moved against Poison Ivy long ago. Even if he was to let Poison Ivy go this time, when the fifth serene spirit tower was to be constructed, Poison Ivy would then be his next target. What have you come here for? Are you going to stick your nose into the affairs of us human spirits? Wu Ju asked as he glared threateningly at Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy was nonchalant as he lifted his head, to look at Wu Ju whose face was filled with nothing but malice. Human spirit affairs? I do not think that this is an affair concerning just you human spirits. Poison Ivy said with a cold sneer. Wu Ju took a deep breath. The brown bear wounded human spirits and broke the spirit world's rules, as the spirit master, I have the right to arrest it and take it to task, poison ivy arched up an eyebrow but did not respond, but another cold clear voice sounded out right at that moment, you have the right, what right do you have to capture the beast spirit's spiritual bear, accompanying that voice, was a flawlessly beautiful young lady that came walking gracefully out from among the masses of spirits, with a massive blank panther following by her feet, treading together with her every step as she went in closer, to come before the horde of human spirits, Wu Ju stared in surprise at Jun Wuxi who came walking in quietly, although he had never seen her countenance with his own eyes, but with the portraits that Meng Yiliang had drawn up, he was able to recognize the owner of that set of facial features, Jun Wuxi, Wu Ju had attempted to capture this young lady before, wanting to interrogate her about Nalan Shan's whereabouts, Jiang Yunlong's eyes were also staring widely, as he looked at the young lady whom he had been searching so hard for throughout the past half a year, in the past half a year, he had not given up on capturing Jun Wuxi but there had been no result at all, it had been as if Jun Wuxi had evaporated into thin air, where there wasn't a single sign of her anywhere, Jiang Yunlong had never expected that he would see Jun Wuxi here today, Jun Wuxi, you can really hide, Jiang Yunlong narrowed his eyes to a slit as he glared at Jun Wuxi, have searched so bitterly for the past half year without yielding any result, he had suffered much admonishments before Wu Ju, now that he saw Jun Wuxi, all the aggrievement in his heart suddenly rose right to the surface, Chapter 2076, Face Slapping of the Ecstatic Rapture Palm, 3, Jun Wuxi lifted an eyebrow and looked at Jiang Yun Long, an icy chill rising up in her eyes, it's not because I can hide well, but it's due to your stupidity, I waited for half a year in the tranquil dream forest and did not see you appear once, if that isn't due to your stupid, then what, Jun Wuxi's words angered Jiang Yun Long so much he almost vomited out blood, he stared at Jun Wuxi in disbelief and raised up a finger trembling with rage as he said, you said you were in the tranquil dream forest, impossible, I had gone to search the tranquil dream forest before, and you were not there, I was there, and that is why I am saying you are stupid, Jun Wuxi said indifferently as she looked at Jiang Yun Long who was fuming mad from humiliation, Jiang Yun Long was so angry his teeth were clenched tightly together, Jun Wuxi's words made him feel so incredibly dumb, he had turned the entire spirit world upside down and he had not been able to find any signs of Jun Wuxi, even if you beat him to death, he would not have thought that Jun Wuxi would be in the tranquil dream forest, the first place that he had searched for quite a long time, with the being the truth. It made Jiang Yunlong wish for nothing more than to be able to strangle Jun Wuxi, 
feeling deeply that he had been played by Jun Wuxi properly. Jiang Yunlong's face turned a greenish tinge, and Jun Wuxi was highly satisfied by the expression he was making. Wu Ju's eyes narrowed as he stared at Poison Ivy and Jun Wuxi who had appeared in succession. He had thought that the spiritual bear was already as good as in his hands today and things could come to an end. Never had he expected that these two individuals would come charging out to completely throw his plans in utter upheaval. To the two of you here, I do not care for what you have come here, but this is not a matter that the two of you should interfere with. Towards everything that the both of you have done before, I can choose to not pursue the past, but hope that you do not push things too far. Leave here today and do not stir up any more trouble. The human spirits will still remain as your friends. Would you did not want any trouble to grow. Soul Slayer was still waiting there impatiently and there was no meaning in dragging things on any further. Complete the construction of the fourth serene spirit tower as quickly now and he would have all the time in the world to deal with Poison Ivy and June Wuxi after that. Not pursue the past, how generous of you. You really move me to tears. June Wuxi suddenly curled her mouth up to laugh sneeringly. She then tilted her chin up slightly and looked at Wu Ju who was fighting to hold himself back before she said, You might not want to pursue the past but that's not what I want. Apologies, but I did not come here today to seek your forgiveness but am here to settle scores with you. Settle scores with me? You? Wu Ju suddenly burst out laughing. The fact that he did not want to waste any more time did not also mean that he was afraid of Jun Wuxi. No matter how powerful one human spirit was, she couldn't be a match for him. Since you have refused the proffered wine, then enjoy the wine in punishment. I do not mind playing this thing out with you as I would really like to see what kind of extraordinary feat you can pull off, to be able to defeat this army tens of thousands strong. Wu Ju's eyes flashed with a glint of malice and with a wave of his hand, the group of human spirits that had been standing behind him immediately joined the battlefield. Several hundreds of human spirits surrounded Jun Wuxi and the others, looking fully intent on finishing them off completely. Jun Wuxi eyed the human spirits surrounding them coldly, her gaze passing fleetingly over them to look towards the beast spirits who were continuing to watch before she retracted her gaze completely calm and composed. Jiang Yunlong let out a roar and led the human spirits in a charge towards Jun Wuxi. All of a sudden, a massive black shadow came falling down from the sky and a white bone snake's tail swept in a white swath through the area. A bear's roar and ape's screech sounded over the human spirits' howls that soared up towards the heavens. Five handsome looking figures shot right into the battlefield, to land firmly beside Jun Wuxi. You want to move against little Xi? You'll have to first measure how much you weigh. Giao Chu's lips split into a wide smile, as the yin yang bear stood up straight behind him, and its thick and stout bear paws spread wide open before it showed off its sharp fangs to send a deafening roar that shook the heavens straight towards the human spirits. Chapter 2077 Face slapping of the ecstatic rapture palm, for, the double-headed bone snake and the great ape joined in with the yin-yang bear's mighty roar, the ear-shattering sound causing the spectating crowd surrounding the battle to cringe in terror. The beast spirits stared with their mouths agape at the three massive-sized beasts who were at least of the eighth grade, their eyes wide, unable to believe what they were seeing. That is their double-headed bone snake. I I know of him. It wasn't this massive before a beast spirit actually recognized the double-headed bone snake, but from its memory, the size of the double-headed bone snake was not even half of the one here. The double-headed bone snake that it knew had merely been a fifth grade beast spirit's size and having not seen it for so many years it had grown to become so massive, that is the yin yang bear. My heavens. What did it eat? Another beast spirit recognized the yin yang bear. Similarly being beast spirits of the spirit world, the double headed bone snake and the others would naturally have old acquaintances, but with the current way they looked, they were completely different from what the other beast spirits remembered. Eighth grade beast spirits. You wouldn't be able to find more than a few looking throughout the entire spirit world and if the double headed bone snake and its companions had such power from long before, then all the beast spirits of the spirit world would have known them. In fact, when the double-headed bone snake and the others had first come to Hu Ya and his companions, 
they were not as powerful as they were now, but through their experiences together as Giao Chu and his comrades strengthened themselves, they had led the double-headed bone snake and the others to become stronger as well, especially in the period when they had been in the Dark Emperor's tomb. Jun Wu Yao could have caused the double-headed bone snake and the others to grow maniacally in passing when he had put the companions in a place to cultivate where the power of the spirit had been most intense in the tomb for an extended period of time, added to the fact that they had taken miraculous elixirs and medicines with effects that aided the growth of their spirits. As the double-headed bone snake never left Hu Yao's side and they saw each other so very often, Hu Yao had not noticed the growth and changes that had come over the double-headed bone snake much, where it was the same for Giao Chu and the others, not just the double-headed bone snake, the yin-yang bear and the great ape had grown, even the hell butterfly and fan Zuo's weapon spirit had grown as well, but it was just that they had not noticed it. The things they had not realized was discovered by the other beast spirits here. The beast spirits who were here intending only to watch the show were suddenly astounded by the terrifying growth of the double-headed bone snake and the others, shocked as they stared with eyes wide and mouths hanging open, not to mention that they had gone to the mortal realm to have become ring spirits. Even if they had been able to go into the serene spirit tower to cultivate, it was thought that the growth could still not have been so maniacal. Where would you see a beast spirit that could shoot from the fifth grade right up to the eighth grade in just a few short years? Question mark. Could those three fellas have taken some godly medicine? Question mark. The three massive beast spirits displayed their might before the eyes of their fellow beast spirits without holding back, standing at their respective master's side to defend them using the powers and might accumulated from experience, to protect their beliefs. It's you, the ones that rescued the brown bear back then was all of you. Jiang Yunlong immediately recognized the three gigantic beasts with just one glance and the rage immediately bubbled and rose within his heart. So what if it's us? You still did not have enough of a beating? Then we would not mind giving you another thrashing here today. Giao Chu opened his mouth to say evilly, as he looked tauntingly at Jiang Yunlong. Jiang Yunlong just could not wait to skin that arrogant and willful little kid alive. Jun Wuxi, what do you mean by this? Wu Ju sensed that something was not right, and his eyes were narrowed as he asked. Jun Wuxi lifted an eyebrow and looked at Wu Ju with almost patronizing arrogance. I've said it. I came here to settle scores. Wu Ju gritted his teeth and then said with a laugh that stemmed from extreme anger, All right. I would like to see how you are going to settle scores with me. Not a single one of you present here today should even think of running away. Chapter 2078, Face Slapping of the Ecstatic Rapture Palm, 5. We won't run. We will definitely not run before we see you die without a place for burial, or we just wouldn't be able to bear to leave. Jun Wuxi retorted back mockingly. Wu Ju's teeth gritted with pure and intense hatred. Heavens knew where this young lady had crawled out from, that she would go against him in every instance. Then you can go down into hell together with that damned animal. Animal? For you to curse the beast spirit's spiritual bear like that might not be all that appropriate you know? Jun Wuxi suddenly said with a smile her eyes flashing with a crafty glint. Spiritual bear. Huh? What spiritual bear? You are just as ignorant as Nalan Shan to be taking that damned animal as the Spiwuji had not even finished his sentence when he was suddenly stupefied. He stared with eyes bulging and mouth hanging open at the spiritual bear, with so much hatred brewing in those eyes that it seemed like they wanted to bore two holes right into the body of the spiritual bear. Brownie's body was gradually expanding bit by bit as all four of its thick and stout limbs grew more massive continuously. The human spirits that surrounded it were flabbergasted with shock by everything that was happening before them as Brownie's constantly increasing size was pushing them back step by step, and not a single one among them dared to take a step forward. How are things turning out like this Wuja glared incredulously at Brownie's fur that was gradually turning a dark golden sheen and his eyes that had been collected and filled with glee was replaced by utter shock. All the beast spirits were staring wide-eyed at that moment, captured in awe at the constantly changing brownie. The beast that had been just a brown bear was actually slowly turning to become their most sacred spiritual bear that must not be defiled in any way. How is this possible? Question mark. 
The beast spirits were all stunned beyond words, and the words Nalan Shan had said earlier resounded unendingly within every one of their minds. The brown bear is the spiritual bear. The brown bear is the spiritual bear. The brown bear. That is their very own sacred spiritual bear! Exclamation mark. In that instant that all of them saw the spiritual bear, they all fell obsequiously onto their knees, prostrating themselves fully to the ground as they let out an emotional roar. The rising and falling beastie roars reverberated outside the first serene spirit tower, weaving into a moving symphony, rising up in a song of praise. That was the piety the beast spirits held towards the spiritual bear the worship of their faith. The lies Wuji told collapsed onto itself right at that moment. The appearance of the spirit bear completely exposed the ugliness and venomous side of Wuju's. Line after line of light gold runes then began to cover over Brownie's dark gold body of fur, to become a pure and holy body that countless beast spirits could only pine for in their dreams. Wuju, I have returned. Brownie said as it lowered its head its vengeful gaze staring at Wuju who was caught up in utter shock. Throughout countless days and nights, in a dungeon that saw not the light of day, it was restrained in soul-binding chains till it could not even move, but to be trapped in dismal sorrow and darkness, enduring the torment that Wuju inflicted onto it, tolerating the agony while its power of the spirit was being drained out of its body bit by bit. Having walked out from that hopeless and desperate situation, it was not just the longing for freedom, but more about the hatred he had come to hold against Wuju. The raging burning flames of vengeance flared inside Brownie's chest. It had endured through despair and humiliation, seeking only for the moment it would exact its revenge today. It had come back, coming out before its enemies with its unmatched power of before. It would use its claws to tear through Wuju's ugly and evil soul and sent him on his way to hell. Upon witnessing the return of the spiritual bear, countless beast spirits tilted their heads back and let out accompanying roars, the highly emotional roars quaking the eardrums of everyone present painfully. Chapter 2079, Face Slapping of the Ecstatic Rapture Palm, 6. Blazing rage rose in the hearts of the beast spirits. They realized that they had all been toyed with by Wuju. Wuju's exoneration and his lies, had now instead proven his shamelessness. He was seeking to capture the spiritual bear, their very own spiritual bear. Unforgivable, unforgivable. The beast spirit's rage had been ignited. They all charged into the battlefield, going forward a step at a time towards their spiritual leader, a low threatening growl coming out from their jaws, their bodies taut, in a state that was ready to attack any time. Those human spirits who had surrounded around Brownie were so frightened by all those pairs of rage-filled eyes that their souls very nearly fleeted out of them. They backed up in retreat a step at a time, not daring to look straight into the rage of the beast spirits. Wuju's face had turned an extremely ugly shade. He could not have ever thought that the spiritual bear that had been completely drained of powers would still have the ability to execute a last gamble and the manifestation of the spiritual bear had completely pushed him to the edge of the abyss. Wuju gritted his teeth, as he stared at the massive number of beast spirits. In a fluster, he realized that things were suddenly not right. He had designed today's events to be a beautiful moment that he would capture Nalan Shan, and after the beast spirits lost to the weapon spirits in their contest for the fourth serene spirit tower, even if they did not blame Wuju, they would definitely not want to come all the way out here just to watch. Their numbers were too great. The beast spirit's numbers were just too overwhelming. Logically, it shouldn't be possible that there would be so many beast spirits here today. Wuju had not felt anything peculiar about it initially, having thought that the beast spirits were just here to catch the excitement. But now that he thought about it, for such a large number of beast spirits to appear, it did not seem to have happened by accident but by someone's intentional design, only waiting for the moment that the spiritual bear reveals itself, to incite hatred to rise within the hearts of the beast spirits. Just who had schemed all of this? Poison Ivy? Nalan Shan? Or was it? Wuju suddenly raised his eyes up, and looked towards the young lady he did not know well. Anything and everything had always been within this control. It was until June Wuxi appeared that caused things to fall into the current disarray. It's her. June Wuxi stared back at Wuju's gaze without a flinch. The corners of her mouth curling up in a slight arc, 
seemingly sneering at Wu Ju's stupidity, that just confirmed Wu Ju's suspicion. This entire scheme had been designed by Jun Wuxi, that struck a most effective retaliation against Wu Ju. Wu Ju could no longer deceive the beast spirits, where he could no longer openly imprison the spiritual bear. Rage and shock intertwined within Wu Ju's heart. Not even in his dreams would he have thought that the plot that he had weaved so carefully would be defeated by Jun Wuxi's hand. Wu Ju, you plot had been exposed. How are you going to deny it any further? A deep booming voice rang out from above, up in the sky. Wu Ju suddenly raised his head to look up, to see the gargantuan sized flame dragon flying high up in the sky. That's right, how could he not have thought of that? Flame dragon had always been rather guarded against him. Back when he had incited conflict among the three great races, Flame Dragon had tried its best to avoid becoming involved. To be able to summon so many beast spirits to appear here at this place today, besides Flame Dragon, who else could it be? Question mark. Flame Dragon, must have joined hands with Jun Wuxi in this. Deny? What is the for me to deny? Question mark. Capturing the spiritual bear is the spirit lord's idea and I was merely following orders. I had thought to not worry the beast spirits too much but you are now not appreciating the thought. But you still can't blame me for this. Wu Ju said with a sneer. Not only was he not showing any fear from being exposed, he was instead showing greater arrogance. He lowered his head back down and looked at Soul Slayer who was standing dazed on the side to say, Soul Slayer, do you know why I still have not completed the construction of the fourth serene spirit tower all this time? Chapter 2080, Face Slapping of the Ecstatic Rapture Palm, 7. Soul Slayer was slightly taken aback, not knowing what Wu Ju was going to say. The situation before its eyes had truly far exceeded anything it could have expected. It had never thought that Wu Ju would really be so audacious to dare to put the beast spirit's spiritual bear in captivity. Why? Wu Ju suddenly laughed out loud. He stared at the spiritual bear viciously and he spat out through gritted teeth because the construction of every serene spirit tower requires a sufficiently powerful spirit body as its support, and the supporting spirit for the fourth serene spirit tower is the spiritual bear. What? Question mark Soul Slayer was completely stunned. Haven't you been so keen on getting your hands on the fourth serene spirit tower? Weren't you wishing that the weapon spirits would be able to become stronger through the serene spirit tower? Then the opportunity is now right here before your eyes. Once we captured the spiritual bear, I guarantee that within just five days, all of the weapon spirits will be able to go into the serene spirit tower to cultivate which would give all of you more power than you have ever possessed. Soul Slayer, I am doing all this for the good of all of you weapon spirits. The fourth serene spirit tower was not built for the human spirits but for all the weapon spirits. Wu Ju's eyes said as his eyes flashed schemingly. Soul Slayer was so overcome with shock it was unable to open its mouth for a long while, its mind a whirl of chaos. The thinking ability of weapons spirits was already not that strong in the first place and Wuji's words had further caused Soul Slayer to be unable to think calmly. Captured the spiritual bear, construct the fourth serene spirit tower. The two blood red rubies set deep within Soul Slayer seemed to be turning between Wuji and the spiritual bear in turn. There is no need for you to worry. Constructing the fourth serene spirit tower is the spirit lord's idea and the spirit lord it aware is well aware of the requirements of building the serene spirit tower. If I do not have the spirit lord's permission, how could I possibly dare to make a move on the spiritual bear? Soul Slayer. The opportunity now rests right before you. I can help you capture the spiritual bear and I can help you finish up the construction of the fourth serene spirit tower. This opportunity that's hard to come by in a thousand years is placed right before your eyes. Are you going to give up on the fourth serene spirit tower or are you going to give it a gamble for the sake of gaining the weapon spirit's powerful might? The final choice, is now yours to make. Wu Ju deviously pushed the entire mat right onto Soul Slayer. He knew very well that the human spirits they had brought here would not be able to battle the horde of beast spirits present, 
but there were many more weapon spirits who had come. If the weapon spirits joined them, he saw that he would then be able to drive back the beast spirits and to capture the spiritual bear. Soul Slayer was hesitant. It was exactly their desire for the serene spirit tower that had brought about the constant strife between the weapon spirits and beast spirits and countless weapon spirits had died in that period. They had finally won the serene spirit tower after so much hardship, were they now going to give it all up for nothing? Soul Slayer was feeling a little disgruntled. Flame Dragon seemed to sense that Soul Slayer was wavering and it suddenly said, Soul Slayer, do not fall for Wuji's ploy in driving a wedge between us. The Spirit Lord will never allow a serene spirit tower that needs the sacrificial bear as a sacrifice. Soul Slayer did not make a noise. Wuji then said sneeringly, Flame Dragon, you did not even have the courage to seek affirmation with the Spirit Lord. Do you think that your words can be trusted? June Wuxi was watching Soul Slayer secretly and she then shot a meaningful glance at Giaochu and the others. She had a feeling that Soul Slayer's answer would definitely not be the one that they wanted to hear. Having received June Wuxi's signal, Giaochu and the other companions immediately ordered the Yin Yang Bear the double-headed bone snake and the great ape to ring themselves around the spiritual bear in a protective circle. After a long moment of silence, Soul Slayer then finally opened his mouth. All weapon spirits hear my order. Flame Dragon's heart sank. Today we assist the human spirits to capture the spiritual bear. In order for the weapon spirits to rise, prepare for battle. At the same moment that Soul Slayer's voice fell, a gleeful smile instantly blossomed on Wuji's lips. He had placed the right bet. 